welcome dear viewers to the video on validation batches the main topic is why three batches are required for validation many of us know that we take the three exhibit batches we can say or we can say it as validation batches but many of the time it is asked that why three batches are required so the video will deal with that information in detail that why three batches are required for validation in the pharmaceutical industry see first of all we have to see uh, what is validation so validation is nothing but it is the establishment of the documented evidence that the process can perform well the process can perform consistent consistently and it can give the quality product the meaning of validation or process validation is the pharmaceutical formulation or product is required to have the consistent quality as per the required specifications so that the pharmaceutical product will be safe and will have the efficacy validation is by definition we can say that validation is establishing the documented evidence to ensure that the product the process can consistently produce a product with the same quality standard as required and these quality standards are related to the safety and efficacy these quality standards which are related to the uh, safety and efficacy are the predetermined specifications then why validation is required validation is required to demonstrate the process reproducibility at pilot or commercial scale to identify and establish the control of all the critical sources of variability and the variability means the parameters of the process which can have an impact on to the drug product quality attributes then the reason for validation is to demonstrate that under the normal conditions and operating parameters the process results or the process produces the production of acceptable and quality products the manufacturing process is required to be validated and thus validation is required in the pharmaceutical field analytical validation is also required also after the successful r&d scale we have to go to for scale up batches and then after successful scale up the applicant go for the exhibit batches or validation batches some people call it as validation batches some people call it as exhibit batches sometimes it is also referred as process qualification batches also validation batches so after scale up the validation activities started and the validation batches are required to get the regulatory approval for starting the commercial manufacturing generally the validation batches are taken at the batch size of production scale or 1/10 of the production scale batch so that part is different that is for the batch size and other requirements for validation batches this video is only for the number of batches for validation so generally as we know the three batches are taken for validation and this number of batches requirement is not mentioned clearly or specifically into the guidelines three batches are generally taken to perform the validation and that is minimum requirement for the valid number of validation batches or number of exhibit batches are the three batches the number of batches are related to the process criticality and the risk it is up to the applicant or it is up to, up to the manufacturer whether they can go for more number of batches there is no restriction as per my current knowledge and understanding about the more number of batches but the minimum number of batches should be 3 the applicant should decide the number of batches to support 
the process reproducibility and the statistical data so variability should not be there the process should be consistent then traditional approach is to take three validation batches to support the validation proving that the product quality is achieved not by the accident and the process is reproducible which can consistently produce the quality product so the simple meaning is that the applicant has to show that the process adopted by the applicant is capable for producing the quality product and that process will give the consistent quality the traditional approach a reason i can give you for the three batches that first batch you can say that the quality may be by chance or it is by accident second batch if quality product is produced by the second batch then you can say now it is regular and third batch will give you the clear information about the consistency because if you make the three batches and all the three batches are capable to give the quality product then it is not by the chance or by the accident it is by the validated procedure and you can say the process is robust process is capable for producing the quality product then another reason i have found from the literature is that to compare the data variation and consistent consistency as the line between the two points always be a straight line and three batches are enough for statistical data generation and the statistically the data will be significant so if you take one batch and if you go for the second batch and if you correlate the parameters then there will be a straight line or there will be a straight relation between the two batches parameters and if you take third batch then you will have some range of for the parameters and that's why there should be enough number of batches to show the consistency and reproducibility so one or two batches are not sufficient the more than three batches can be taken but there is no clarity so traditionally three number of batches are taken more number of batches can be taken and can be submitted into the application but if you increase the number of batches it will take more time to manufacture the batches to analyze the batches and to do the stability studies for those batches also it will add to the cost of the product development so generally three batches are taken this is the another reason now the last reason i have found that the stability data requirement is for the three batches for regulatory filing whether it is for the uh, generic application or whether it is for the uh, reference product or whether it is for the new application the three batch stability data is required so uh, for the exhibit batches the batches are put on the stability and the three batch stability is provided into the application so that can that thing can be correlated with the number of batches so this is the information regarding the validation batches numbers and you might have got understanding about the why three batches are required for validation generally these questions are asked into the interviews so i thought to make video on this uh, topic also i will be making more videos for exhibit batches for validation batches to give you the complete clarity about the topic thank you for watching the video and stay tuned with this channel so that you will get the more and more information about these topics thank you